who can't hear me. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Story of Season, Friends of Mineral Town. What's going on here? Uh, basically, for the past three weeks on Shonen Archive, I've been saying I do other videos besides Fago and then not releasing any videos unrelated to Fago. So I figured I'd change that and actually play a game that I've been playing for a while. So there we go, Story Season, Friends of Mineral Town. I've already started this because it came out on Game Pass recently. And I figured, why not try it? I was a big fan of the Game Boy Advance one. So let's go into my farm. Check on my farm. Read my journal. Check it out for a bit. Uh, Friends of uh, Story of Seasons is Harvest Moon, except for they've renamed it. I forget the reason why. I think it was from some legal reasons. Don't 100% remember. But it's here now. And it's ex almost exactly how I remember it, including giving these little elves grapes so that they can work on my farm and I don't have to worry about my farm for the time being. Alright, let's go visit my horse. Here's one thing that's different. I don't see my horse. I have to actually find him on the map. Because sometimes he's in here and sometimes he's not, so let's go see the other animals for the time being. We can go check out our good old cow over here. Spoot. Shout out to Spoot. Growing calf. One day he's going to be making me uh, milk. Just not now, he's a calf. Just barely got him. Oh, I need to feed this guy. He's another, I have to get his friendship up. Let me go, nope. Here, there we go. Have some honey, my friend. Okay. Now, let's see, where the hell is my horse? Where the hell is my horse? Where did he go? Okay, there he is. I was like, what the fuck? The, this horse really does seem to spawn wherever the hell he wants, except for when it's raining. That's the only time I can find him, actually. That Come back! There we go. The, the, the horse's name is also Wokey. We're just the Wokey farm. I'm Wokey. He's Wokey. One of the chickens is named Wokey, and the other one is named Vince. Vince the chicken. There we go. Grow strong, Vince. You too, Wokey. That's it. They're perfectly fine. I don't need to pick that up. Because the little elf guy should be coming. Yeah, he's in there. Alright. Now to go out and venture into the town. Uh, so what do you do in this game? A lot of it is farming. <laughs> oh, wait. I had to remember to do this. I have to... Um, I don't have a dog right now. And if I want to unlock a dog, excuse me as I summon God... Harvest Goddess comes down, says, thank you for coming by. Here's an offering. I love that. Thank you. She leaves. And go talk to some villagers. I mean, this is a very chill game. If you've ever played uh, um, Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley was what Harvest Moon was doing, except for it reached mass appeal. Um, do I assume Harvest Moon games were popular? I don't know why they started stopped doing it at some point. I forget the, the the tier of events that happened where Stardew Valley became the biggest thing while just being Harvest Moon, and there was no actual Harvest Moon's games released. It's something I've never paid attention to other than I was like, damn, I'm glad it's here at least. All right, pick some of this up. Talk to this cop. I don't remember him being here in the base game, but now there's a cop here now. So that's nice. Get out here. Talk to this guy. His name's Gots. Don't need to fr fraternize him anymore. Alright, let's go out and see. Too tired. There's this guy, Brandon. I think he's an artist. He just kind of says hello. I don't remember him from the original game either, so I assume he's a new addition. Pick up this grass. Sell that for later. Sell that grass. Selling grass. So much grass going around here. Again, then chop, 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 gather wood. Oh, I thought it was done. Nope. How am I missing this many chop, chop, chops of the wood? There we go. I need to go find her. Where'd that girl go? No. Eat, pick up this grape on the ground. It's perfectly fine. Thank, thank, thankfully, a lot of people just like the random grapes you find on the ground. Boop. Pick that up. Pick this up. Continue moving on with my life. What was I doing beforehand? Well, right now, I'm in the early days of summer. So there's really nothing for me to do other than 
try and plant some stuff, gather what I can, try and make some money. I'm poor as hell because I spent all my money on vegetables so I could actually farm. But I don't make money until later. So I just scrounge up, scrounge up random things on the ground. Is that a fucking squirrel? Oh. It's gone now. Don't know why it would be terrified of me. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. On the shopping bin. Drop this off, drop this off. Sure, drop this off. Uh, don't drop that off. Because I need to think about 150 or so. I need to upgrade a lot of my stuff. Right now. Um, that's why I'm also chopping up a bunch of wood. So I can get my axe to silver grade. And then I can just upgrade it and get more wood more easily. You know, fun stuff like that. But I can go out and explore in the town for a bit. I don't think there's anything I need to do, to be honest. Let me see. How is everyone in the town liking me right now? You can see here. Big fans with the cap up, but unfortunately I'm going to run out of uh, cucumbers to throw into the lake to give him. So very soon he's going to stop liking me. Bon Vivant, Vivant, Huang, Zach, Jennifer, as you can see here. This is the lady I'm trying to get to like me so that she'll marry me. Currently halfway there, I think. Brandon, Gotts, Kai, Ran, Dudley, Cliff, Carter, Doctor. It kills me that Doctor does not have a name. <laughs> and his name is just Doctor. Karen, Sasha, Jeff. You, Ellie, Ellen, Harris, Thomas, Marie, Anna, Basil, Mana, Duke, Gray, Sabara, May, Mugi, Popery. I have no idea why she likes me so much. I don't do that much with her. Rick, Lilia, and that's it. So let's go on. Oh, I can go in here. This little spot is different from... Oh, there she is. Hello. She visits the vineyard. She seems very uh, earthy of the tone, a hippie of sorts. So here's a turn up. Thankfully, I know a girl who would enjoy a sick turn up, just a raw turn up. And she's definitely the look of a type who would enjoy <laughs> just giving them a turn up. I don't suggest you actually do that. I'm not sure how many girls would appreciate it if you just gave them a turn up. I can only assume. What? Stupid Game Pass making loud. It's late already. Yeah, time flies crazy fast when you play this game. Uh, especially in summer. I guess I could actually check on Kai. Maybe he's open right now. Let's see. He's only open during the summer, so this is my one chance. There he is. Ah, uh, Rick's trying to start shit. Uh, can I help you? You know what this is about. It's been a long time coming. But keep your hands off my sister. What the heck are you on about? Don't try to deny it. I know she comes here all the time to see you. Dude, I haven't done anything. Popery comes here because she wants to. No way. I just know you've got to be tricking her into coming here. This feels slightly racially motivated, Rick. Why the heck would I do that? Nothing like that is going on at all. Jeez, I feel sorry for Potpourri if she's stuck with such a blockhead for her brother. What'd you call me? Don't you ever go anywhere near my sister again or also get it? Sorry, dude. Can't promise you that. Even if I don't go see her, don't you think she'll just come and see me? Hmm. Just stay away from her, you hear? I mean it. He means it because he puts the one finger up. That lets you know he's serious. Hey, guy. Feels like time passes by and more of a crawl here than it does in the town where I live. That's all you have to say? Just had a straight up arguing match? Oh, it's locked. Oh, I can go in here. Can you sell me something? Roasted corn. Spaghetti, pizza, shaved ice. I can eat a shaved ice. Yeah. Thanks. I don't think that actually helped me in any regard. Is that a sick penguin picture? Poster. <laughs> no need to describe the poster. It just is what it is. Parasol. Alright. I think it's probably time to go home. Probably also check to see if those sprites actually did the work I told them to do. In the beginning, they're not very good at their job. So you're supposed to look after them and make sure that they're doing it right. Uh, and sometimes I don't do that. And other times... It's not really needed. But... Oh. Hello, giant man. 
Uh, yeah, that seems fine to me. Good work, boys. We can all go home now. And I think I'll go to bed. Let's see, is there anything exciting coming up? Nope. It was Harris's birthday, though. Shout out to Harris. Cluck, cluck, clash. What the fuck is that? Probably something to do with chicken bedding. Crops. Made it a solid $500 a day, baby. Just... The fuck? The, sun, the, the music in summer has been extremely weird. I can also watch TV, but there's nothing on. I can also check out and change my outfit if I want. I can be pink. I can be green. I can be the classic Harvest Moon. I can be a cow. I can be a cherry blossom sprite. I can be some kind of reindeer. I can get hooded up. But really, I just stay with, stay with this Bomberman classic. Alright, let's go. Back out into the day once again. Doop doop. Pick this up, pick this up. Uh, go to him. Funny enough, I can't give grapes to the to the one in green because he doesn't actually like grapes. I don't know, it was weird. All the other sprites seem to like grapes good enough, but he's just like, nah, not a fan. So I have to sh make sure to give him the honey. Where is Wokey the horse now? Bro's just hanging out in the middle of the field. Okay. Let's go talk to Spood, give him some motivation. Tell him he's looking good for today. Brush him up a little bit. There we go. Ooh. Almost time to cut it, I think. Let's go. Maybe somewhere along this way, our horse will show up. There he is. Just asleep in the middle of a field. Doing good, buddy. One day you'll be rideable, but for now, just hang tight. Go here. Talk to Vince the chicken. And Wokey the chicken. Examine. Alright, they got food for ten more days, so I actually should probably go buy something of theirs before a big celebration comes in or I forget. One of the two will happen. Copper. Cut. Mm -hmm. Cut. Dung. Ooh. Slap down that axe. Got it. Got it. Boom. And now I have to remember to throw a flower for the goddess. She demands her sacrifice. Her sacrifice of a single flower. Thanks. You're welcome. Peace. Shit. I that was not meant for you. But she'll take that the gift regardless. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Hey, are you entering a chicken to the cluck cluck clash? I mean I could. Hello, ladies. Flower. Oh, there she is. Hello. Twittering of birds, babble, blook. I've heard her say this many times. Here's a turnip. Enjoy your raw turnip. She also lives in that. Oh, she doesn't live in this tent. She just owns this tent. <laughs> Seems silly to set up a tent and then just not live in the tent to me, but. Uh, you know. I don't, I don't question how certain females act. Who am I to judge? I'm out here chopping random street pieces of wood for for uh, for lumber. So what do I actually know? Go back out. Perimeter checked. Nothing for me to pick up. Time to move on and check on this side real quick. Doop doop doop. Nothing. 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 Okay. Moving on. I may as well go see if I can get some chicken feed. Let me see, is it closed today? Closed Sundays. Saturday. Oh shit. Well, Miss Celia? Oh, how lovely. Thanks again, Jenny. Hmm? My oh my, if it isn't Wokey. Hello, sweetie. Hello. It's me. Hello, Wokey. Oh, Blue Heart. Uh. I'm here to deliver a sachet of potpourri to Miss Lily. I make them with flowers I found in the mountains and dried. 
They are primarily for my personal satisfaction, but I share them with others from time to time. It's a weird way of... They're just flowers. I think that's a blend that will help transport Miss Elliot to the mountains in spirit, if not body. Jenny really does the lend the best potpourri. Everything she makes smells so wonderful. Feels like an excitable little girl every time I hear what she's bringing another sachet by. Oh, I do so love potpourri if you couldn't guess from my daughter's name. <laughs> Is that what you named her after? A fragrance? Actually, I was thinking of bringing some potpourri to you later, later Wookie. I specifically tailor each blend to make the recipient's taste. May it transport you somewhere peaceful. Thanks, man. I told you this one is better. No, it isn't. There's a lot of potpourri stuff going on. Oh dear, they're arguing again. Right when we have guests, too. I'm so, so very sorry. They really are sweet children, but somehow they always find a way to butt heads with one another. Oh, yet open disagreement is a sign that they trust others enough to express their true feelings. Of course, it isn't good to let one's temper take control and say hurtful things, or heaven forbid, use violence. Nah, Popery needs to start swinging. But I can see no danger with those two. Their arguments are an expression of their affection for one another. I must admit, I feel a little pang of jealousy. If only I too had a partner with whom I could argue so passionately. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Looking at Rick and Popery, it is plain that they were both raised with care and affection. Thanks in no small part to a wonderful and loving mother, I'm sure. Oh, Jenny, that's so sweet. Thank you. You know, hearing you say that makes me feel much better. For someone who marches to the beat of her own drum as much as you do, Jenny, you make such astute observations. Haha, <laughs> I like to think it precisely for that reason that I can, actually. Perhaps that is why I've always cultivated a more free and unrestrained worldview. Uh, Rick, why do you always have to? Me, you're the one who's always... They may be arguing because they love each other, but I think I'm going to put a stop to it. I'm really sorry, this should only take a minute. She walks over there, immediately beats both of them. Arguing may be a sign of how much they care for each other. But I can't commend them for doing it to an extent that it worries and annoys their mother. Oh, brother. Hmm? You seem surprised by how much I observe the people around me. Haha, <laughs> to be honest, I generally take pains to not interfere with the affair of others. She's like the watcher. She just watches. However, Miss Lily seems very rather vexed, so I thought I'd make a special exception for her. Wow, you aren't a total sp <laughs> Wow, you have a great heart. Oh, I'm flattered if you would think so. But I'm afraid that I'm not a particularly kind person at heart. I simply prioritize harmony, that's all, in order to maintain a peaceful coexistence with others. It is critical to focus on the merits and talents of everyone around you rather than their faults. After all, you must first give love and respect if you want to receive it in turn. That it does not go for human beings but for animals and even nature itself. I am simply putting that concept into practice, that is all. You say funny words, mountain woman. Goodness, listen to me. Here I am, taking your ear off. <laughs> talking your ear off. My apologies. For some reason, talking with you seems to loosen my tongue and end up prattling on for hours. Yay! Well, I'm flattered by your compliment. It's odd, but for some reason, being with you puts me at ease. Perhaps our souls are resonating on a similar wavelength. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Chakras and spindras and... Uh, Rasengans. By the way, Miss Ilya certainly is taking some time to return. Perhaps I'll take my leave then. She's really giving. I need to buy chicken feed. Can you guys stop. My mate, can I help you with? Yeah. Buy kits and sell goods. Uh, twenty should be enough for both of the chickens. You get thirty. So that buys me fifteen days. Don't have to worry about it. How's it going? I am not entering a chicken at the moment. Everyone's ever over. Uh, to be fair, this is the chicken place. If the chicken place isn't gonna get hyped for the cluck cluck clash, who is? It only makes sense. Well, let me take my axe and continue trying to upgrade my house. Man, it always sucks at the beginning of the year when you're just so crazy poor. You gotta build up all that. I had so much money, man. Thousands in a scrow, and now I'm over here chopping wood talking to someone who visited a vineyard. I've never even been to a vineyard. 
I'm too busy. I have the grapes to make wine myself. Though I don't have a kitchen. <laughs> I've always wondered in the Harvest Moon games how your character is able to make like random pieces of spaghetti when he wakes up. When you have no kitchen and you have to upgrade your house to get a kitchen. Never truly explained. But maybe that's the logic that they don't really focus on. Oh, I have the, the perfume. Uh, apparently she changes the mix. Smells nice. Can I use it? Oh. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I guess I could go fishing. Talk to the priest. Mr. McFarms a lot. Hey. Hey, you old bastard. Blessing. Mister. He talks a lot and he gives us some snacks. Statue of the Harvest Goddess. I've met your god. She likes flowers. Do 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 do. Big ass hat mare. Three random women having a conversation. Uh, let's see. I could try and go fishing. Actually, no. I have. Ah, oh, damn it! I forgot that they put the damn chicken feet in my inventory. I have to go drop off the chicken feed. <laughs> Otherwise, my entire inventory is going to be nothing but chicken feed. All right, to the chicken house. Dum 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 dum. Boom, sleeps. There we go. This is one thing I don't fully understand. I don't remember in the GBA game you having to. They just put it in your thing for you. I don't understand why I, I have the ability to have it in my inventory. Not sure who that benefits. To be real with you. Over here, so that the guy doesn't get on my fucking case. There you go. Enjoy yourself. Uh, cabinet. Ooh, I have a 150 finally. I'm gonna put this away for now because I don't know what to do with it. I mean, there's really nothing for me to do left, so I can just go to bed. Sleep. Yeah, $165 and a play of spaghetti. What more could a farmer ask for in their life? It's Cliff's birthday. Where the hell is Cliff? He's not even on my... Is he? Did I misremember seeing Cliff? Oh yeah, there's Cliff. He's homeless. Or traveling the world, I guess, is the way to say it. Mm. That was a nature sprite. Oh, I can probably stop giving Sunny stuff and just focus on mint. Oh, both him and Cherry full of love for me. So I can stop giving them the grapes and start giving the grapes to others. So I can truly have the ultimate farm. My farm rank, very small. Very small. Yeah, I'm working on it though. I think I'll save here. Horse in the middle of the field just hanging out. Yeah, all right here. And that's it for today. I'm not really going to keep playing off screen, but I figured, hey, may as well play a game. <laughs> also because we were doing Gintama this, Gintama this week because we wanted to catch up on Jujutsu Kaisen first so we could talk about it for season two when it came in. So Gintama will return next week and we'll continue on doing stuff and making videos. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.